Everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Posted Up with Chris Hanks podcast here on Yahoo Sports. I have the pleasure of bringing on today. He's he's coming here on behalf of Body Armor, and we're going to let him talk about that. But this guy right here, we had the pleasure of bringing him home on the pod before he was drafted, months before he was drafted, when he was talking stuff back then and when you really didn't know much about him. And now, obviously, he's backing it up right now in the NBA. I'm talking about Memphis Grizzlies star point guard, Ja Morant. Ja, how you doing, bro? You getting ready for the playoffs? What what is what does it feel like right now? What's the buzz going in, going around in Memphis right now? Uh, I'm all good, man. And you know, it's just time, you know, lock in and you know, uh, chase after you know our ultimate goal. Now, Ja, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get to um, the body armor. You on? I uh, want I want to hear what you what led to you partnering with this um, with this company. But I want to ask real quick, Ja. This season, you guys, it, it seemed like it took a while for everybody to jump on the Grizzlies bandwagon. You guys were harping on t- and telling people, like, why you guys should be a pay t- be paid attention to early on in the season. What was the moment when you realized that people were really starting to really look at you guys? Uh, Well, I feel like, you know, the first time is, you know, uh, I went out with injury and you know, I was out for a while, and my team teammates, you know, were, were winning games. Um, and, you know, at that point, I felt like, you know, the buzz was, you know, my teammates' record, you know, without me, uh, you know, early on. And then uh, it was a stretch, you know, when I came back, and I think we went on, like, a, a big-time winning streak. And then I, I felt like, you know, that's what really, you know, solidified, you know, people actually, you know, knowing that, you know, we're a good team and, you know, we have, you know, something special, you know, uh, going on in Memphis. John, the, the year that you had as well has been special. And I want to ask you about a certain award that I'm curious to get your opinion on. But, Ja, when we talked before you were even drafted and you had these goals, these lofty expectations that you put on yourself, like the things that you're doing now, did, do you even, did you even surprise yourself or are you in a mindset like, nah, this is what I had planned, and maybe you feel like you're you're not done? Like, what what, what was your mindset back then? Uh, my mindset back then was, you know, obviously, you know, setting you know goals aside, you know, for myself to, you know, always chase after. So you know, I would never be satisfied, and I pretty much, you know, just that mindset. I feel like you know, have me at the level, you know, that I'm playing at, you know, right now with. You know, going into off seasons where, you know, I'm working hard, you know, six days out of the week and um, coming, you know, into the season and, you know, continuing to, you know, still work to have that, you know, consistency on that part. And uh, so, like, you know, it just gave me a lot of more confidence, you know, studying the film, allowed me to, you know, be steps ahead, uh, you know, on the defense and, you know, credit to, you know, my teammates for, you know, uh, allowing me to, you know, play the game, you know, how I want it, allowing me to, you know, get to my spots on the floor because, you know, what they are capable of of doing. No, uh, he's definitely a fun team to watch. Dylan Brooks, Desmond Baines, you guys, fun group, man. Seem like you guys really have fun. Look like a college, a college atmosphere uh, that you guys are doing. So I'm glad people are looking at that. Now, Ja, the award that I that I want to talk about. Did you see Draymond Green's comments about you last night? Uh, I haven't seen him. Okay. So the comment he made was something along the lines of why Jordan Poole should be most improved player. And he mentioned you like just basically being, you know, you were, even though this is your first all-star um, season, you know, we, we seen this coming. And so what I want to ask you, because obviously your numbers dipped up um, from previous seasons, do you feel like you should be in consideration for that award or do you feel like that's an award that's for guys that probably wasn't on the radar one year and then they just blossom the next season? Um, I definitely, you know, feel like, you know, I've, you know, improved uh, this season. So um, I think, you know, the award has the word improved in it and <laughs> feel like, you know, I should be, you know, in consideration for it. But, um, I, I don't think, you know, I, I deserve that award. Uh, I feel like, you know, my teammate, uh, Des, 
actually deserved that award, you know, from the, you know, major leap he made, you know, this season. And it's the reason why we're, you know, the number two seed. No doubt. I like, like that answer right there. So, Ja, this is a team that a lot of you, a lot of these guys haven't been here before. This is going to be a first for a lot of you guys. Um, most people will say, well, you need experience to – survive in the playoffs to succeed in the playoffs what what is one thing that you feel that you guys have going for you that most people or even veterans who've been covering this game or even former players who played this game what is one thing you feel like you guys have going for you in the playoffs that maybe people are overlooking um i feel like you know guys you know look at our roster they see you know we're uh one of the youngest teams in the league um they feel like, you know, we don't have, you know, that experience part. And, you know, a lot of people who say you need an experience probably never made the playoffs or probably, you know, have the same playoff experience that I had and get knocked out in the first round. So uh, we pretty much don't look into that. Uh, we have, you know, two guys on our roster right now who's been in the Western Conference Finals. Um, and then, you know, returning, you know, our players from last year, you know, who – you know, played in the playoffs. Um, I feel like, it, you know, it really doesn't matter. It's pretty much just, you know, being bought in, being locked in, and, you know, just going to, you know, finish the job, you know, pretty much just seeing who actually wants it more. And, you know, our mindset is, you know, we got to be that team, you know, who, who want it the most. And, Ja, you just got back uh, from sitting out due to your injury. How do you feel physically right now at this stage of the season? Uh, physically, you know, I, I feel good. Um, you know, just happy to be back out there, you know, with my teammates to, you know, make this push, uh, this playoff push uh, to, you know, chase our, you know, our ultimate goal and, you know, and winning a championship um, to, you know, have this parade on Bill Street. Oh, for sure. Parade. See, that's what I'm talking. See, these expectations, these lofty goals right here, expectations on Bill Street. You, we've never really heard <laughs> that that saying before. We never heard Bill Street and championship celebration and things along those lines. And that speaks to the the confidence and that speaks to the goals that you have in mind right there. Like you look at we see what you guys did to Andre Iguodala, how, you know, we, we see Dylan Brooks more so outspoken on that regard. But there's there's a pride with this organization, a pride with this team that comes with, like, if you don't want to be a part of this or if you don't see the vision, we're going to do without you. And, and not only that, we're going to beat you. Like, where does this pride, where, 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 do, where does all this come from? Um, I feel like, you know, just all of us having that underdog mindset. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, a lot of guys on our team uh, wasn't, you know, all, you know, lottery picks. Um, you know, we had guys who had to, you know, come in and, you know, prove themselves in this league. And when you get, you know, a whole group of guys uh, in that such with, you know, Memphis behind you and our organization, you know, having that same, you know, mindset and everybody bought in is, you know, pretty much what you get. Uh, you know, you, you get guys who, you know, speak their mind and don't care, you know, who got something to say or how somebody feel about it. Uh, it's pretty much just how, you know, we're coming. And John, this last question before I want to get, uh, allow you to, you know, speak on why you're here. But uh, what is what are the attractions to Memphis? You know, you know, think about free agency and free agency destinations. You hear about players wanting to go to L.A., Miami, New York, Chicago, some of the big markets. What are some of the attractions aside from, well, I will say that, but what are some of the attractions a plan for the Memphis Grizzlies? Um, it's just, you know, having that whole city behind you. I feel like, you know, everybody uh, pretty much know each other. Everybody's, you know, bought into the same thing. Uh, they love, you know, basketball out here. And, uh, you know, when you're doing something good for the city um, and, you know, you get this city behind you, uh, you pretty much, you know, fall in love with it. And, you know, you want more, uh, you know, for the city. And uh, Memphis is, you know, that city. Um, and, you know, I love it and I'm, you know, I'm happy I'm here. Um, but, you know, my goal is to, you know, bring, you know, a ring here and, you know, that's what we're chasing. Yeah, Joe, I don't think I told you, but uh, I found out three months ago, you're my daughter's favorite player. She um she actually ordered your jersey. She's 10 years old, so she actually ordered your jersey. But I I, I bring that up to just to say that that's, you know, you brought the, 
you brought the Memphis Grizzlies a long way, you know, where you becoming a household name and uh, people are going, you know, not just in the market, but people outside the market are going flocking to your jersey. So you got my daughter's, uh, you got my daughter's attention. Now, Ja, you're you're here on behalf of Body Armor. Talk about, you know, this collaboration. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I've been part of, you know, Team Body Armor, uh, you know, for a while now and um extremely blessed to, you know, be a part of this campaign and um, just continuing to, you know, um, prove that, you know, body armor is the best, you know, sport and strength in the world. Um, now having this body armor and edge, you know, campaign where, you know, I feel like makes me, you know, a better person. You know, you can wake up, you know, in the morning and, you know, choose whichever flavor you want, all of them good and, um, it also has, you know, caffeine in it to, you know, get you through the day. So this, this is, so are, are you a coffee drinker, Ja? Uh, no, nah, I'm not. I'm a body. I'm You're a not a coffee drinker. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Great response there, Ja. Well, th- Ja, man, I know you got a lot of things to do, man. Place to go, place to be, but I'll, I'll see you down the road covering you, um, in the playoffs, but best of luck, bro. I'm glad watching you and your, um, it's just you and your transition. You seeing how you sky high, and tell your family, tell pops and Uncle Phil, man, tell them I said what's up. I got you. All right, bro. John Morant, Memphis Grizzly star, right there, right here on the Posted Up with Chris Haynes podcast. Hope you guys enjoy Body Armor. Check it out. Peace. Hey.